So now I'm going to select an article. I'm just going to select the first one for example purposes. And the first thing you're going to see here is the title of the article, the authors, the date that it was published, the publisher, uh, what publication it's from, volume and issue. And this, of course, is because it's from a journal. So this may vary if it's a newspaper or magazine article. The document type and how many words, the content level, the Lexile me measure, and the DOI, which is the document's address. Right below, we have a couple of features. One is the abstract. This is a summary of the article, and it gives a nice overview of what the article discusses, what kind of research it gives, its findings, etc. And as you can see, scrolling through, there are some words that are highlighted in red. Epidemic, vaccinations, COVID-19. These are all highlighted keywords based on the topic that we're looking at. And as you see through, you get the full article shown here. And most importantly, at the bottom of the article is the citation for the article. The default for opposing viewpoints is MLA 8th edition. 8th edition is the most recent edition of MLA. And you can see here that you can select the text and copy and paste it into Word or into Google Docs, wherever you want to do that. Just keep in mind always that the citations in these databases are about 90 to 95% accurate. They do make mistakes at times, and so you always want to check your citation for accuracy based on the citation style. There is also APA 6th edition and Chicago 17th edition. Those are your other options for citations. You also have tools for the citation. And one that I would recommend is the Google Drive feature if you are a Google Drive user. Now, I am currently already logged into my Google account. But if you're not logged in and you select this, it's going to ask you to log into your Google account. I'm going to go ahead and click on that button. Oh, and actually here it is asking me to log in. So I'm going to select my account to log in and I have to give it permission. And then it gives me a confirmation that the document has been sent to my Google Drive. When you go into your Google Drive, you will see that there is a folder created for you called Gale in Context Opposing Viewpoints. And when you open that folder, the document that you saved or sent to your drive will be there. And there is the citation for the article that I was looking at. Now, this is currently in my Google Drive as a Word document. I can open it as a Google Doc and edit it there. And keep in mind that there is editing that I need to do to this citation. Um, it is not double spaced. The font is wrong. I have to double check the font size. And when including with my other citations, I want to make sure that it's in alphabetical order. So that's all still some work that I have to do with my citation, but 90% of the work has been done for me through the database. Going back to the database, and apart from the citation being included at the bottom of the article, there is a citation button here located near the top of the search bar. If I click on the cite button, again, it will generate the citation in MLA 8th as a default. And again, give the option to copy paste or to use Google Drive or any of these other tools if I subscribe to them to obtain my citation. Now, some other tools for this article. I can send this article by clicking on that button. I can choose Google Drive, OneDrive, or email. The other way to email the article to yourself is down here, this envelope. If I click on that, it immediately opens up the email prompt. 
and you're going to want to type in your email address, who it's from, and that would be from you yourself. The subject line is already filled in for you. That's the title of the article. And then the message that you want to send is to yourself. So that is completely optional. Once you have filled in all of the sections, make sure you select send full text and click send. You'll get a confirmation and go ahead and click close. Once in your email, you'll see that you have received an email from Rio Hondo College Library. And there is the title of the article as was shown in the database. And once I open up that email, I will see the full details of the article as I saw it in the database. And if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will notice that the citation is included in this email. So that is a benefit to emailing yourself the article is that the article will be included as well as the citation at the bottom. Going back to the database, some other options for saving the article are to download it. You can download it to your computer or to a flash drive. You can also print if you prefer to have a printed version of the article. And of course, you can also save the entire article to your Google Drive. So very similar to how I showed you with the citation. If I click on Google Drive, now that I am logged in already to my account, it will give me a confirmation. And when I go into my folder, the article will again appear as a Word document, which I can keep that way, or I can open in Google Docs if for some reason I want to copy some text or highlight some text or make any notes to the document. And in the Google Drive version, you will also see that the citation is included at the bottom of the article. So just the way you see the article in the database is how you will receive it both in email and through Google Drive option. The Microsoft OneDrive will work very much the same way. Uh, I just don't have a way to show you that one. But if you have a OneDrive account, you are welcome to use that as well. Also important to note on this article page is the Explore section here on the right hand side where you can find other articles that are similar to this one and also select any related subjects to this topic or article.